are they YouTubers? True Phantom 21 here again with another review. Today I have the um, Dragon action figure, the Star Trek uh, Wharf 12 inch action figure by Dragon. And let me just say, it's a fantastic little figure. Um, it's great. Yeah, I like it. The um, likeness to Michael Dorn, the, the guy who plays um, Worf on um, Next Generation on Star Trek, is very good. I like the likeness. I don't know if you can see it there. Uh, this camera's a bit... I haven't got my um, full HD card yet, so the quality on this camera at the moment isn't the best. But let's see if I can focus on the face there a little bit. Let's see. Uh, let's have a look. There you go. Um, that's about as good as you're going to get. Yeah, the face. The head sculpt, sorry. Head sculpt's very good. Not the best. But yet again, I've seen worse. From more expensive toys. Uh, collection action figures and that. The hair's great. Uh, the face is very good he's got his little goatee happening oh his little goatee in that happening there he's got that mean look in his eye he looks like michael dawn uh these things here they get a lot of little, ex uh, little accessories they're like little stick on things the back of them you you peel off and they they stick there's another one there for his phaser that's his uh what do you call it his carry case for his phaser there's his phaser and there's his sash, of course. Sash was a bit of a hassle to get it on. But cause these, um, these aren't really, these are toys. These were made to be played with. So the joints are very robust and strong and all that. Um, bad thing about toys is it's difficult to get them in a, uh, a nice uh, pose like this. Because uh, most often they're not really made for posing. They're made for playing with. But um, this one's not too bad. Didn't come out too toy looking, if you know what I mean. The hands, of course, are bloody frozen in that in that position. So you kind of have to, you know, hide things. Like this one's made for grabbing. Oh, where is he? This one's made for grabbing his um, weapon. I forgot what it's called. It's like his long blade thing -o that Klingons use. I'll show you that in a little while. Um, yeah, very good figure. The stand obviously does not come with it. I bought that separate. It's a, This one was a really, really cheap one. Uh, it's like a buck, dollar, dollar fifty, whatever it is, free post, you know, nothing too glamorous. I didn't want to spend, I don't, I don't like spending a lot of money on um, figures that don't cost much and, you know, the quality is not 100% to my satisfaction because um, even though it is a... Um, good figure it, it is a toy it's not really a collectible figure you know but nevertheless because it's in the right category it's a one six scale um and if the quality is not i mean if the quality is good i will collect it if it's a toy i won't, I won't bother i wouldn't no it just doesn't appeal to me i'm going for um i'm going for that um you know as as accurate as possible kind of a look if you know what i mean so yeah this one was another inexpensive toy um remembering guys this is australia it's not the us where you get toys a lot cheaper uh this one cost me around 58 bucks delivered so that was pretty cheap brand new in a box but there's the box there nothing too flash but uh yeah okay there's the figure and then we go on to the accessories in the box well, this is the box. Nothing too flash, like I said. And it's made by Dragon. Let's see if we can... Come on, focus, you bastard. That oh, stupid camera. I've got to figure it out. I'm doing something wrong on it. Anyway, um... Yeah, this is the side of the box. That's the back of the box. There are only three of these figures in the next gen. There's... Picard, Data, and Wharf. I might look into them too. They look pretty good, actually. Head sculpts, not bad for a toy. As I said, okay, 
accessories. Accessories, we have a, uh, um, where is it? Communicator, where are, you, where are you man? There you are. A communicator, uh, an open communicator, um, or whatever you call it, what, what are they, analyzing thingamajigs? This is an open one, there's a closed one. There's this thing here, it sticks to his pants like the, like that, like the, um, where are you? You know, like the phaser pocket, there, yeah, the phaser pocket thing, and uh, you put the closed um, data analyzer or whatever thing, communicator thing uh, in there. I forgot what it's called. Um, and the blade. This is the Klingon blade. I might put him in um, later on, put him in some kind of a pose or something. And these are some of Worf's. Uh, cling on button buckle thing. So I'm not sure where it goes, so I just left them in there. I might have to do some uh, some research on the, the internet on it. Uh, have a look what it's you know what they're for and where they go and blah blah blah. Well, that's about it, guys. That's my review. I hope I haven't bored you too much. Um, basically, that's it. That's good old Mr. Wolf. And that's the end of my review. Thank you very much for watching. True Fandom 21, out.